Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 2nd of December, 2015. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract Daily Chart. Not a lot of new information here on this chart. We uh, didn't do much on, uh, on Tuesday here net, and we'll talk about the overall numbers here in a moment. We were up a bit, but uh, it wasn't uh, anything spectacular. We did sort of gap up, never filled. There was some concern earlier in the morning about a potential uh, bomb threat. Uh, but that sold the market off for a bit, and then we bounced off of that. Uh, we are now nine bars up for a new startup phase, but look how flat that nine bars is. It's almost impossible to imagine we got the count properly as flat as that was, but just be aware of it, as that could lead to a downward move. Uh, we are ex about, well, it's not an exhaustion signal yet, but it's a setup signal for the exhaustion, so we'll see what happens. Uh, at any rate, let's go through the numbers here. Uh, oil down 12 cents to uh, 41.72.50, not a big deal. Gold got a little rebound up $4.10 off of that 13 buy signal. Notice how it bounced off the risk line perfectly there. Uh, the S&P was up 22, so that's uh, a minor breakout over the last week or two. Uh, NDX up again, uh, 51.65 after being down the day before, and we're flirting with new highs on the NDX uh, because of it. SOX up 9, and I talked yesterday about this nice cup that was forming, and it's now broken out. Biotech's up 18.82. The VIX reverse dropped 148 to new lows for the month at 1467. The trend closed at 0.71. That leaves the 10-day moving average at 1.2. So basically, looks like a number that was a fairly low number on the 10-day moving average dropped off. And we got a new low number at 0.71. NASDAQ volume, 1.8 billion shares. We were tracking for much better than that in the morning, but things kind of got messed up with that bomb threat. We'll look at that in a moment. Advanced decline ratio back to positive, up 479. Uh, on the NASDAQ, up 13.05 on the New York. So good market breadth on the positive side here. Google got a new closing high. We keep talking about this. These stocks that are up so much for the year, nobody wants to sell them coming into the end of the year. So we're up $20.94. Apple's down 96 cents, sitting on the 10 uh, day moving average. Amazon's up $14.26. Uh, that's a, very close to a new closing high on Amazon, if not a few pennies above. Another one that's just moving up, moving up. Netflix is another one that's up enough for the year that it could run here in the end of the year, but I'd like to get that new high breakout. We've got this on the list as a stock to buy if it breaks out, uh, so we'll keep watching that. All right, let's take a look at the uh, futures on the five-minute time frame. You can see we gapped up, and we were pushing higher for the first 30 minutes, and then that bomb threat uh, in the U.K. hit, and we spun down really quickly, stabilized when it turned out to be nothing, but I think that kind of killed the momentum for the morning. Lunchtime was flat. Most of the afternoon was flat, and the last, basically, remember here, you're looking at the future, so this shows 15 minutes after the market closed as well, um, but the last maybe 20 minutes of the day, we finally broke out and pushed, but that's a little late in the session. NASDAQ side, uh, no different on the futures, and of course, here, we have basically uh, new one more print higher. If we just open kind of flat and print higher in the morning, that's going to be a 13 comer sell signal in a five minute. Of course, we could gap either way and mess that up, but it's a possibility. In terms of economic data coming out on Wednesday, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, we've got the MBA Mortgage Index, 8.15, the ADP Employment Change, 8.30, Productivity Revised and Unit Labor Costs Revised for the third quarter. An hour into the stock market at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we've got our weekly crude oil inventories number, and then at 2 p.m. Eastern Time is the Fed Basel book. That can move the market. Be aware of that. We still have a lot more data coming out this week, including unemployment and trade balance, both on Friday. Um... It's a big week for economic data. So hopefully, you know, we had, we've had two good trading mornings in a row. The future stuff has been super solid. Um, and the stock stuff, there were some opportunities both days. Uh, the afternoons, you know, middle of the day really slowed down quickly, though. Um, I don't think it was going to, to on Tuesday. It just did because of the uh, news about the bomb threat. So hopefully we continue to see good action Wednesday and Thursday. Friday may be early because of the uh, data, but it's always a Friday. I don't know how that ends. We will be in the lab trying to help you out as usual. If you've not taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We can help you out for a couple weeks. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal12. Have a great trading session.